Hey y'all, we back with another video, episode 53, and this is a super simple video. This is for my my newbies who's making it, or trying to make it into the nail or press on nail um, business or whatever. So this is something so simple. We just want you know get the the uh, acrylic foundation part first, you know then we can get on to the designs and whatnot so this is for the girlies who just want you know to practice the basic super simple um just acrylic um plus gel all of that um so yeah i'm gonna be giving y'all some of the tips that helps me um of course i don't know everything i am not um school taught i'm self-taught you know youtube academy so um yeah so everything that i know works for me i don't have no problems with my nails so i'm just passing on what i know to whoever you know is just not going to school right now um you know can't afford afford it or it's just not the right time for y'all whatever your reason is i got you you know or if you're just looking for another nail video just to listen to or watch while you're practicing on yours or working on your set because that's what i like to do um you know this videos for you this channel's for you because i have nothing but good music up on here and good chilling vibes and yeah so without further ado i'm just gonna show y'all what i'm doing here i've already um I've already shaped my nails. I just shaped them just a little bit more so it's tapered in the bottom. Um, I, sh I uh, filed side to side and then I took it, um, how to explain it is I filed up and down after I took it side to side just to make it more crisp. Um, so after that, you guys see me going in with my sanding band and I'm just removing the shine just so that the acrylic can adhere better to the nail and yeah it actually just helps me also to see what's going on rather than just working on a clear nail also when it's the shine is still on there it's like the acrylic um it can't really like when you try to place it down it kind of slides because you know the nail is still shiny if it was if the shine was removed then it would have something to grip onto so that's why i'm doing that um and yeah i'll be right back once we move on this is going to be like a really short video y'all and of course if you have any questions about what you see me doing here if i forgot to leave out anything please don't hesitate to leave your thoughts and questions down in the comments below also, I want to say, um, I always do this, but hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. Any new subscribers or any new viewers and welcome back to all my um, returning subscribers. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And y'all, I will be like reading. Um, I don't know what it's called, but just the like the back cover of the book that I'm, that I'm reading just so you guys can see like what it's talking about and if y'all are interested in me reading just like a couple pages or whatnot So y'all, I'm now obviously going in with the um, acrylic part of the video, Acry acrylic application, excuse me. Um, I'm using Mia Secrets Pink Acrylic Powder as my foundation. Um, I use this like clear or whatever just because I'm going in with a color um, polish and you know, I'm not trying to waste my acrylic on just like nude or anything else if it's not going to be shown. So I'd rather just use like a, a clear or a close to clear just to, you know, for that foundation and then put that on because um, like I'm, I have to buy clear like 
a lot anyway because if i'm capping or whatnot so it's really not that big of a deal and so yeah um moving on i know you guys see me like dipping my brush in the bowl like a little crazy or whatever but that's just because it helps me ensure that I, I don't get anything stuck in my brush and i have it for a while so i do like doing this um i don't go as crazy because i would like really just really go at it like dip 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 but um i had to chill because you know it's you know it, it really doesn't make a difference um if you go going that hard rather than not going as hard so i definitely chilled on that <laughs> um yeah because if y'all seen from my way earlier videos of when i was just starting yeah y'all gonna see a big change a big difference um moving on from that though with the acrylic i do like to do the three b method so um when i put my brush in the the monomer um i try to like squeeze off not really squeeze off but like take some off on the side as you guys can see me do i do that like twice and then i'll go into the um acrylic powder and i'll tap like three times depending on how long the nail is because you can kind of feel it after you get used to it um after a while so it's very important that you practice your beads um so yeah that's why i feel like this video is definitely for beginners because you can definitely do that with this and not really worry or have the pressure of creating some really extravagant nail or or anything like that this is you know it's really super simple and i did slow my video down um because i normally have it sped up just because this is just so um i can't think today y'all it's just so um it's very repetitive damn i cannot get that word out so yeah um but for y'all for this video i definitely slowed it down and so yeah after i put the first bead like towards the end the second like a little higher than where i put the first bead and that'll kind of be like around the apex and i won't like bring all of the um the second bead from the apex down because you definitely want to leave the apex there so it can have like some some shape to it so that the nail doesn't break and it's very sturdy so that's what i'm doing and then um for the cuticle bead i place it like right after the second you don't want to place it right on like on top of the cuticle because it's going to shrink the nail um yeah and that that sucks like you really don't want that it's not going to fit on your finger it's going to be tight and so yeah you kind of just want to place it right below and turn it around and kind of swipe up you want it to be thin like so just enough like to where the product is on there and then that's it you don't want to overdo it just turn it back around and then slight swipe, swipe the rest of the product the opposite way so that's what i'm doing for all 10 nails super simple and I, that's what i do with any acrylic that i use and yeah, if I was using, if I was doing longer nails, then I, of course I would do more beads. Um, I do it in sections. Like some people can just, you know, have one bead and then that'll fill the nail. It's really up to you, whatever you are comfortable with. And as you practice more and more, you'll like change your methods and get better and things of things of that nature. Because um, I don't know if anybody who's been with me from the beginning, but I used to do so many beads because I did not like waiting for my beads to like dry a little bit before just swiping. Like they would be runny and of course I'm wasting product because I'm over here trying to apply so much product onto the nail so that you can see the color or, you know, just the acrylic is on the nail. But now I like, I'll place the bead on the nail and I'll just give it a few seconds like do a little tap to see if it's to where i want it to how i like it for me to start swiping down and then i'll do that like i'm not in no rush no more because you know like if you rush you're just gonna have to keep going back over with product and product and it's gonna take you longer to do the set so just definitely practice one beat at a time you know the wait time for how long it is to dry and then bring it down some people they like to um dry their brush on their um on the towel or like have the bee and then dry it on the the towel whatever the excess liquid um you could do it that way it's really up to you i like to do it this way just because i don't it's a pain in the ass to get um product out of your brush 
so that's why I don't do it that way because I just I'm scared that I'm gonna get it stuck in my brush and it's definitely a thing you know you have to practice your ratio product up on <laughs> can't speak powder to liquid ratio you know that is definitely a thing um and that's why I'm going to school y'all because I don't know if I got it 100% but I feel as though I got it to where it works enough for me um you know I'm leaving I'm not like removing too much product from the nail I'm leaving just enough and yeah but I definitely want to learn learn a lot more so that's what you guys are seeing me do and I'm about to go ahead and get this book so I can read y'all a little bit of it Okay, y'all, so this book is Let Me Love You by Alexandria House. Look at this, y'all. Y'all already know, like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't know if it's what called the, or I, we just gonna say the introduction or whatever, like, what the, how the book starts off to get you, you know, a little, a little hot and heated. <laughs> it goes like this. Trying to put past hurts behind you is hard when your ex is a fool, but but buoyed sorry y'all i ain't know how to pronounce this word buoyed it's b-u-o-y-e-d that's how you pronounce it but i want to know that anyway but buoyed by child support and alimony joe walker is moving forward with her life pursuing a career raising her little girl and trying to live in peace she believes she has all the bases covered in her world but what about her heart Rap legend Everett Big South McLean is divorced too. What the hell, Big South, y'all? Big South, though. What? What is? What is that like? What does that mean, like? Big South. Anyway, this man is is divorced too. Knows all about failed relationships and has regulated his love life to casual connections rather than pursuing something real. That is until he lays eyes on Joe like of course we already knew this was gonna happen like <laughs> she's exactly what he never knew he needed he's what he yeah he's what's been missing from her world will she accept what he has to offer and let him love her let me love you yo every time i <laughs> every time i see this book just the cover that you know song from neo pops right into my head remember that song yo i don't know when that john came out but that used to be my shit i was still in school when that john came out but yeah, um, uh, let me know if y'all want to get into it or what. Actually, listen, why not read a couple pages? Because we need a little bit more. This is, yeah, I'm going to read y'all. Just probably three pages. And y'all let me know. Okay. So page, um, chapter number one, page one or whatever. Joe. This is her point of view. Because we got Joe's point of view. And then we also got Big South. His name is Everett. I ain't calling this man no damn Big South. What the hell? Everett, that's we got also got his point of view okay so joe i stumbled through the front doors of bayou park hoping wishing and praying that the black coffee and plain bagel in my hands would serve to appease my boss peter park pause let's get into this man's name peter park that's her boss y'all what like what we, we couldn't think of nothing better Peter Park, like it's, that's damn near close to Peter Parker, and that's Spider Man. So like we could have definitely came up with something better, like Brian Stewart, something like I don't know. But anyway, Peter Park was a horrible person, temperamental, demanding, flimpian. I hope I, I pronounced that right. But talented and at the top of custom jewelry game. An internship with him was an anxiety-ridden thrill ride and an opportunity most aspiring jewelers would kill for. I was just happened to walk in, mm, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh, I'm over here getting caught up, y'all. Hold up. I just happened to walk in on the right day, the day he and his assistant slash girlfriend received a beatdown at the hands of his wife. Mm we gonna call her t because it's t w y l a i don't know yeah so t she's not really important we ain't really going even hear from this girl probably anymore so the rest is he was bloody and in need of a new assistant 
I took advantage of this desperation by adding a little custom jeweler training to the deal. I'd been assisting and training under him and his staff jewelers for a little under a year. But today, I was late. Peter Park didn't do late. Ever. I nodded at Freda, the tall ebony receptionist who could slay any fast Venetia, even though she was in her 60s, and headed straight for the gold door with the silver lever handle that led into Mr. Park's office. I knocked, waited, and when the door swung open to reveal a livid T, I thanked the heavens for my tardiness. T was a certified fool and only showed up at Bayou Park when trouble was brewing between her and Mr. Park. <laughs> like, it's too many parks up in here, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Park, I offered. T flipped her 40-inch Remy hair extension over her shoulder and clasped her hands to her wide hips. She was at least three inches taller and 60 pounds heavier than her Korean... Yeah, y'all, this is like a hard copy book. I love hard cover books or copy books, whatever you want to call it. So, sorry. I'm going to look. She was at least three inches taller and 60 pounds heavier than her Korean American husband. Husband. Ooh. And a damn pit bull. Mean, jealous, violent, and destructive. Peter Park might have rained tear down on his employees, but his wife rained tear down on him. Oddly enough, though, she liked me, probably because she didn't see me as a threat. Since I didn't dress or act like I was trying to catch a man, specifically her man. However, I still hated being around her. With her drama-filled reality show antics, she made black women as a whole look bad. Joe, honey, give us a minute. I'm in the middle of reminding my husband of a few things. I glanced behind her to see Mr. Park at his desk. His silky black hair, disheveled, tie crooked, glasses askew. The contents of the top of his desk were littering the floor around it. I almost felt sorry for him. Almost. But not quite. Uh, sure. I'll be back in... I'm, hold on, sorry, y'all. I'll be in the back with Cheryl. Mm-hmm. She shut, she shut the door in my face. I scurried to the small office occupied by Charlene Ramsey, the most tensured bench jeweler. Cheryl's strength was making Peter Parker's artistic visions a reality, since he rarely got his hands dirty anymore, so to speak. She didn't design jewelry, but she was excellent at interpreting, interpreting others' designs. My goal was to design and create, and I was fortunate to be able to see both sides of the process on a daily basis. She's still on the warpath? Show X when I dropped into a chair next to her workstation. Yep. What'd he do this time, you know? Show glanced up from the piece she was working on and shook her head. All I know is we all had barely made it through the front doors when she stormed in yelling and screaming. But I can guess what happened. I could too. Mr. Park loved black women, surrounded, surrounded himself with us here at his company. And was a compulsive cheater, despite the fact that T always caught up with his, with his infidelities. It was as if he refused to stop cheating on her and she refused to take their five daughters and leave him. He cheated, she beat his ass and tore up the office. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> it was a wonder if the if the ridiculous uh, if if the ridiculous ridiculousness y'all help me of it <laughs> all didn't affect bayou park but then again half the clientele ordered custom pieces for their mistresses or side chicks this is damn sad the re relatability of peter park's life was probably what made the business so successful you were late show asked her eyes on a diamond drenched worked again yeah overslept i didn't fall asleep until early this morning netflix or hulu I rolled my eyes at how predict predictably pathetic my life was. Hulu? Watch the bunch of Top Chef episodes. Her forehead creased as she carefully added another diamond to her eagle-shaped medallion. I didn't you know I didn't oh, sorry y'all. I didn't know you like to cook. I'm trying to learn how to cook. By watching Top Chef? I shrugged. I picked up some good tips from that show. Girl, you better be getting you a soul food cookbook so you can cook your way to a husband. I have one of those. I'm good. Hmm, okay. 
I signed as I pulled my cell from my purse to see if Mr. Park had summoned me via text as he usually did after he was able to calm his wife down and get rid of her. Shutting down on me? Just checking my phone. She looked up, rested her back against her chair, and gave me her full attention. Joe, how old are you? Here we go. You already know that. Humor me. 28. Came out on a sigh. 28 and all you do is work and watch tv at home that's not all i do and you know it you didn't let me finish you the door to her office burst open to reveal peter park and his da 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 <laughs> all right y'all so yeah um we didn't even y'all like when y'all even when this man fucking everett steps his ass into this book this show is gonna have me like boy goodbye <laughs> so let me know if y'all is definitely interested in me reading some more um yeah that was a lot um so yeah all right back to the set after we didn't did the acrylic and all of that i put on the base base gel or whatever just to make sure that my my red polish isn't going to peel um it goes off smoothly smoothly and all of that so i recommend putting on base coat on anything you do before doing nail art all of that so that way it doesn't bleed into the nail when you make a mistake so i did that and then um then we're gonna go right in with model ones this is this red is so beautiful y'all like i would really just wear this this set just like this and i was gonna put like rhinestones in it but i don't have enough i need to go purchase more and do some research because i want to get some really good quality glass rhinestones so but i mean i see a lot of people be ordering off of um alibaba or aliexpress or whatever i just don't want to wait that long for it and i kind of don't want to do it like buy from amazon because i want to get a lot for a reasonable price rather than paying so much for you know so i really don't want to do that i'm thinking about you know timu because they got so much more stuff and you can get a lot it's just like sheen and aliexpress together so i'm gonna check that out and see you know how fast the shipping is and i'm gonna do a haul for that not sometime soon but just because i got this trip new york coming up also i want to like um really start cracking down on myself and investing in someone to create a website for me i tried to do it myself i don't got the patience <laughs> or the tolerance for it so i'm gonna just have somebody else and then i'm like I, ha I have too much creativity i can't put it all in in a website so i need somebody to help me you know brainstorm and get that together so that's what i want to do that's kind of pricey i also want to get business cards business cards that has like a, a qr code on it and stuff like that i want to like really start trying to get my business out there and i definitely want to start paying for ads and stuff like that um so yeah we just gonna see but i know i definitely need to get some more nail charms and rice stones asap so <sighs> i'm gonna figure it out and when it happens y'all gonna see it period <laughs> but anyway i do want to say that the next set is going to be another coffin set this is going to be um my first time using a blooming gel so we're going to do that um it's a little marble just a little bit on the nails and it's going to be our or um the color i started off with was this light blue for model ones it's going to be so cute um i'm also going to tie in some pink and some like bright i don't know if it's like a neon green but it's a, a bright green so you know if you're interested on how that's going to come out definitely stay tuned don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already um and yeah so hit that bell notification so you're notified for when the next set is dropped and yeah y'all like i love this set don't forget to like share and yeah all of that um i always well now i'm putting my personal instagram down below so if you're you're interested you can follow me i follow back and yeah like i'm trying to be more open with y'all yeah and yeah we just gonna like i don't really ain't got nothing to say this is probably like the end of the video so i thank y'all so much for watching for taking the time out to view this and yeah maybe i will just continue reading the book like <coughs> excuse me y'all i will, will continue just because i don't know like that's all funny and just to talk to y'all about it 
yeah because this is going to start getting more live like her ex is going to come into the picture her ex is an asshole y'all like he's really crazy and her new dude whatever this man he he ready to go all the fuck out for her and her boss be acting crazy and he was about to shut it all the fuck down so y'all definitely want to stay tuned and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video all right peace